Okay, Robert, uh, go ahead, take it away. Hello everybody, my name is Robert Maxfield. I'm one of the full stack developers over here at Form.io and I'm going to be demonstrating a process maker integration with the Form.io platform itself. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, you're gonna to need to go to processmaker.io where you can go ahead and sign up or if you have an existing account, go ahead and click log in. Once you've entered the platform, you go ahead and create a new instance. I've already created one, but I assure you clicking the button results in the same output here. When you click the drop down menu, you'll be greeted with a couple of uh, important pieces of information that we're gonna to need to copy and save for later. The first of which is the actual API key. So let's go ahead and grab that. I've got a notepad over here already prepped and ready to go and pasting that there. And then the second thing we're going to need is we're going to end up needing this access token I key right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and leave that on my clipboard for right now. Next, we're gonna to go to our process maker onboarding example, which is this GitHub repo um, that we have created for you. And this makes it easy for you to follow along in order to get your first process up and running. So go ahead and fork or clone this repo as you see fit. Um, and it's important to note there will there are two variations. The first is one that accepts um, a raw key value pair. The second is a JSON example. Um, we're gonna be putting the JSON example in here at the conclusion of this video. And if you wanna follow along exactly with us, go ahead and use the um, the branch that is the JSON example. So with that out of the way, um, I've already pulled this repo and have it open in my IDE PHP storm. And we're going to be greeted with two things, the first of which is um, a .env example. So go ahead and duplicate that and just call it .env. And I've gone ahead and made the fields blank. So the first thing we're gonna do, since so we just copied that API token, is I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in right there. The second thing is we're going to need that, um, that URL again. So let's come over here and grab that and place that in there. Great. And then next is going to be the target email. This is going to be whoever the recipient is for the project itself. So we're just making a simple emailer, nothing too complex, but again, it just shows the simple use case of how you can integrate the form builder and dynamically inject data into the process itself. So I'm going to send this to myself at robert at form.io. And with that, we're all set. The next thing I'd like you to do is you're going to actually have to install Composer on your machine. Um, and you can do this at getcomposer.org. And the reason for that is we're going to use Composer to build out um, some of the internal uh, pro uh, process maker files here, as you do notice that there is a composer.json file. So with that out of the way, you can simply go composer, in oops. we can go to composer install in our active directory. And I've already got it in there. So it says nothing is uh, nothing to install. Everything's up to date, which is great. And now I'd like to direct your attention to the create.php file. And what, when we actually ran that command, what that did install is that uh, created the vendors folder. And if you do check the git ignore, it's not there. So back to the create.php file, this is where all the magic is happening. And this is where our webhook event is going to start. Most notably, I wanna draw your attention down here to this script section. And this is what's going to actually um, intercept the JSON and create those key value pairs that we're going to be sending through our, through our form at form.io. And in this example, we're gonna have a name, the email address, the subject, and a message um, that we're going to be capturing. And then the second part I'd like to draw, draw your attention to is the template. This is the HTML template that you're going to receive in your inbox upon submitting um, the, the form. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is compile all of this and make the endpoint. And again, this is already provided for you, so it should be super simple to follow along with. And we're gonna do that by going over to our demo app and we're going to click on examples. Up at the top, you're going to see process list. And right now it's empty. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, create a process so we get um, a key value pair ourselves that we can use to hit the, the, the webhook. So in order to do that, we're going to come over or you can go to the GitHub repo itself where we have the command um, listed. It is uh, php.introductions.create.php because we're gonna come into this folder. Basically, you have to be in the Active Directory and we're going to build um, this create file right there. So let's go ahead and run that. And it might take a few seconds, but what it's going to give us is going to give us a process ID and a start ID, which we're going to need in order to create our webhook. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that, just kind of paste that there for reference. And now if we go back to our process maker interface and we refresh, you're gonna see a process here. 
And this one it, um, is 7E71, which directly corresponds to the one we just made, 7E71. Perfect. So with that out of the way, we've, com we've successfully configured Process Maker. So let's jump on into Form IO. So you can either um, create or log in if you already have an account. Um, I'm going to make a new one um, for this example. So you can see the whole process from a blank slate and hit the register. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And great. So this is what a um, brand new user account looks like um, for Form.io. Um, it might be changing in the future because I know we are pushing some things to the pipeline. But the process will be the same where I'm going to, I'm just going to create actually a default project over here. And that's all about project created. Great. So what we just want to do is while there's a bunch of things going on here at the side, we're just going to go down to forms because all we want to do is just create a simple form, which um, is what we do at Form.io. And we do it through a drag and drop interface. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to make those four fields that we demonstrated in um, the PHP create code itself. And that is we're going to create a name field. We're going to create an email address. We're going to create a subject. And we're going to create a message. And with that all the way, we can go ahead and we can um, create this form. Oh, one more thing. We got to add a title. And we will call this our demo pro uh, process maker. And we'll just add that to the API key. Great. Create the form. And there's the form. So there is something I do want to call um, attention to right out of the gate, and that is if we go back over here to these key value pairs, you're going to see name, email, subject, and message. And these are actually the same um, API keys that the, that the form IO instance has. So if we go to our validation here, you'll see name is written here, which pairs with this value over here. So if we had called this bubbles, then when we make this form over here, we'd have to call this bubbles. But that's not what we're doing. We're calling that name. Um, but you'll actually notice that since I called it email address over in this one, that I actually have to change it to just say email because that is what we called it over here. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now the form itself is created. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save those changes to the form. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create a custom action. So when we hit the submit button at the bottom of any form I have form, it will just save the submission data. But what we want to do is we also want to send that data over to um, our process maker instance, specifically this one right here. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and create a new webhook. We're going to add that action. Um, since, and, um, since we don't need any authentication, we can delete those fields. And now all we simply need to do is create a webhook URL. So to do that, we have I have my example URL here. And I'm just going to paste in. Um, the uh, the API key, which came from, I thumped the S over, um, and remember this came from our actual process list over here, um, right there. And then we're going to add in our last two values, which is the actual process ID, which again, we got when we compose um, the create.php file. And so we're going to grab this one, and we're going to plug it into the first blank. And we'll grab the second one. And we're going to plug it in here. And now I'm just going to copy that whole URL right there. And I'm going to come back over to Fullmail and simply paste the URL, make sure everything looks good, which I believe it does, come down to the bottom. Hit save action, and now we're ready to preview our actual form. So I'm going to go and say, my name is Robert. Uh, my email address. Hello, and world. And so now when I hit submit, two things should happen. One, we'll get a save submission um, because our action involves save submission, and our data for the form will be saved right here. And the next, if we go back to our process maker, refresh this page, we will see that we get a found instance of complete because we've hit this API with that information. And now 
um, because in our .env file, I set the target address as Robert at form.io. When I come over to my inbox and I refresh, there's my submission. And there is the parsed JSON object. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for their time. That is the workflow for a process maker form.io integration. Thanks so much. Awesome.